Hey guys and welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be a super chill out, relaxing painting video and I thought you could just hang out with me in the studio whilst I paint or you can even paint alongside me. I've been feeling creatively empty for a few weeks. I think it's a mixture of burnout and also a lot has been happening in my private life which has been very stressful and upsetting. So today I just wanted to keep it really simple with a sketchbook painting. Sometimes painting can feel like a pressure and I'm sure I'm not alone in this. You know you get all your painting stuff out and you feel this pressure to create something you're gonna really be proud of and keep forever and show everybody when really we should just be focusing on the process of painting and enjoying it. So today I'm going to be painting purely for fun, experimentation, stress relief and most importantly without any expectation. I save a lot of images from Instagram and Pinterest just for inspiration. It's really important to make sure that you're taking just bits of the image and changing things around as to just copy a photo that you've seen online exactly is actually a copyright issue. So usually I save tons of flower or bouquet photos and just mix and match the flowers from different images. I'm really into like peachy colours right now, as you can see. <laughs> Colour has a huge impact on me, like mentally, emotionally. So when I'm painting, I will try and paint with the colours that I'm drawn to at that moment. You know, whether that's my art, my nails, <laughs> makeup, clothes, it's all part of that self-expression. Today I'm using Arteza watercolours, which have been kindly gifted to me to try them out. Everything I'm using today will be listed in the description box with the links. Also I've got a coupon code, so head to the description box if you're interested in any of the materials I'm using. I would say that these watercolour paints are probably more suitable for beginners. The colours are really stunning and they're very, very easy to use. Um, but one thing I did notice is that after the paints had dried on the palette, they did crack off and crumble a bit. So they're probably not suitable if you want to create your own pans. But if you're just squeezing out what you need for that painting session out on a palette, then there's absolutely no problem and they're really nice to use. And so far I'm really impressed with the sketchbook. I feel like I am quite picky when it comes to sketchbooks, like I have very high expectations from a sketchbook. So I was very pleasantly surprised with this one, I've been using it for a while now, I've filled up quite a few pages um, and I've used watercolour and gouache on it and it's held up very well, so yeah, I'm definitely going to continue using the sketchbook. So with this painting today, I'm starting off with the base layer, I'm keeping it very loose with heavily diluted washes and letting the paint just naturally create the shapes. Then as that layer's dried I'm going to go over with some details using the paint pretty much straight from the tube just to keep that colour really strong. This is my favourite way of working with watercolour um, but I think it is something I need to practice a little bit more. I'm keeping it fairly impressionistic I mean I do try more detailed paintings every so often but I find that I just get bored too easily and it never just brings true enough to the photo that I might be using as a reference. So I do like impressionistic because it feels so unpredictable, you never quite know exactly what it's going to turn out like which is exciting for me and I find sometimes that you discover something new that you didn't necessarily mean to do. Whereas when I'm painting something that's very planned out and I can foresee in my mind exactly what I want to create, I kind of feel like what's the point of them painting it if I already know exactly what it is in my mind. Um, but I can appreciate other artists work who are very detailed and realistic. I mean it's absolutely mesmerising what some artists can do and they are extremely talented and work very hard 
over their um, realistic paintings. It's just personally for me and my own relationship with painting. You know, it just doesn't float my boat. So I'll leave you to watch the painting come together. I would really encourage you to pick up your sketchbook and just start something and without any expectation. In fact, you can even expect to hate it if you want, if that will help take the pressure off. And um, Just have in mind that the creation process is what will serve you a purpose and for it to be relaxing and for it to be mindful. Even if you just paint a colourful rainbow or a swirl you know, just enjoy and appreciate the privilege of having art supplies to enjoy freely. So thank you so much for your amazing support. You guys are seriously the best. I have the best subscribers out here on YouTube and I'm really thankful for that. So have an amazing day and enjoy the little things. So before